Howdy YouTube. Uh, I know I titled this video how to make water purification tablets and that was kind of a it's not a misleading statement but I'm trying to get everybody here we're not actually going to make tablets but we are going to make a replacement for water tablets uh, all right let's go through a little bit of the uh, the water purification problem everybody knows you can boil water to make it safe to drink but in some cases you don't have the time or the energy or the ability to boil water uh, maybe it's just absolutely soaking wet outside and you can't get a fire started uh, for whatever reason you're on the fly you don't have time to stop boil water so uh, water purification tablets are something a lot of people carry in their bug out bag uh, and, and their you know whatever kit you're using uh, a bottle of water purification tablets, a decent sized bottle with like 50 tablets in it, uh, is about 15 bucks. And although that isn't bad, uh, you know, if you're buying the prepackaged ones to put in your kit, the price goes up a little more. Uh, we're going to show you how to save a whole bunch of money and have a whole bunch more water purification and be able to customize it and tailor it to your needs. Now I have a uh, you know a water filtration system that I built that does five gallons of water at a time. So you know if you're buying uh, quart tablets, there's four quarts to a gallon. Uh, so you know if you're going to use up 20 or 25 of those 50 tablets at one time, the bottle doesn't go as far as you thought it did in the first place. If you're buying the one gallon tablets or the two quart tablets, I mean, there's so many different versions of tablets around there. Uh, you know, you can eat up a bunch of tablets pretty quick. Uh, so, what I have, and first of all, this is not my idea. I found it somewhere. Uh, I can't even remember where I where I saw this uh, the first time. Uh, so I'm not some super genius. I'm not trying to take credit for this. I'm just trying to, you know, get the information out there. Uh, what we're going to use to purify water, as opposed to the purification tablets, is bleach. Uh, now, you need four to four drops of bleach per every gallon of water you're going to purify. After you put the bleach in it, you need to, you know, kind of shake it around and leave it set for about 30 minutes and let it do all, you know, kill everything it needs to kill. Uh, bleach is an excellent source of, you know, water purification. Uh, but, you know, carrying that with you could be difficult. I mean, yeah, you can break it down into other containers, but for easy use and all that, it doesn't work real well. So what we're going to use are good old-fashioned, everyday, find it at a convenience store, drinking straws. Uh, now the first thing I want to caution you on when you try this is you need to have some kind of jet fire. If you do it with just a good old fashioned Bic lighter, uh, there's a good chance your seal is going to break. You need to get a good, fast, hot melt on the straws. But here's what we're going to make. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but this is a sealed straw on both ends. Now this straw full of bleach is actually good for five gallons of water. I make these for my purification system, which just has a ceramic filter in, in one bucket. You dump the bad water in the top bucket, it, it filters it down to the bottom bucket. But even though it's filtered, it's still not safe to drink. So, uh, I filter into the bottom bucket. I have a five gallon line. Uh, you know, scrape the water off or do whatever I need to do to get to that five gallons. Pour one of these in there, stir it up. It's good to go. But the beauty of this is, instead of having to, you know, I keep this in my big kit. I, I keep these, and I, I, I just randomly make tons of these things. Uh, and I keep them in a, uh, like a, PV, a piece of PVC tube, pretty much cut the length. And, uh, I man, I can purify a bunch of water with these. Uh, and I can strap the PVC tubes on a lot of different stuff. Uh, this is a one-gallon version of the stick. Uh, 16 drops out of an eyedropper of bleach purifies one gallon of water. Now I will say with these I typically bump the uh, the mixture just a little bit uh, like I'll add an extra drop to the 
gallon do uh, gallon tubes I make and uh, about a half a drop to the one or two quarts just because I know there's going to be a little bit stay in the tube when I dump them out uh, we'd like to think it wouldn't but you know, I, I just I, I I bump it just a little bit. That's personal preference. You either can or you can't. Uh, now I carry one quart U.S. Army military canteen uh, everywhere I go. That's my primary water bottle, uh, and that is a one quart uh, tube of this. So you can make this go down or up to any size you want. Uh, I can throw a bunch of these little one quart things and find my canteen real quick. I'm sorry. Uh, on the one quart canteen, you have uh, this little pocket here in the front and I mean you can just cram as many of these down in there as you want they don't take any up space you can put I think I had one time I packed that as tight as I could get it and still get it to seal and I think I had about uh, 60 quarts of water or, uh, purification tablets right there uh, the other thing I do in my uh, camelbacks is you figure out how much bleach uh, works in your camelback. Some of these things have nice little pockets, you know, up here or down here. Figure out what size, uh, what size camelback you have. Uh, might get a little package like so, you know, little drug baggies, what I call them, or whatever you can, um, and go ahead and throw it in there. So you can purify your camelback as well. Now I have uh, you know, four drops is what you need for either a quart or a liter. So if you have a three liter camelback as I do, 12 drops in a tube. Now I mark them with a marker. Like this one's one gallon or four quarts. Uh, the ones for the camelbacks will say, you know, three liters or three quarts. So, you know, if you run out of little ones, you can always break up another one. And, you know, I know there's four quarts in a gallon. Most people know there's four quarts in a gallon. But, A, under in a high-stress situation, you may forget. Uh, or your brain just isn't going to function or whatever. And you can't remember how many, exactly how many tubes or how many, you know, of these tubes go in there so anybody can look at that and say okay now there's four quarts in a gallon I need to put this in my little quart canteen so I can basically you know quarter it off in my mind uh, I will tell you you need to leave and I hope you can see this an airspace in the tubes uh, water does not compress liquid does not compress so you need a spot in there for the water to move up and down because if you fill it absolutely full and you press it in a little a little bit uh, being that it doesn't compress, it will blow your seam out. Uh, these uh, these are just a phenomenal, phenomenal way to uh, transport fluids. And you don't just have to use, I mean, it's not just bleach and all that. You can put any fluid you want or need to in these tubes. Uh, I mean, if you're, I'm going to do some here later with hydrogen peroxide. I've been planning on doing that for a while. I'm going to, instead of trying to carry a full thing of hydrogen peroxide in my kit, uh, in my med kit, I'm going to do some straws uh, up with hydrogen peroxide. Uh, you know, I've seen people, you can, I mean, it, there's no end to what fluid you can put in here. Now, I will caution you, uh, you know, like acetone fingernail polish remover is going to eat through the plastic. So if you're going to try something you've never tried before uh, or aren't sure about, make one, set it somewhere, and leave it set for a couple weeks to ensure that you're going to get what you need out of it. Uh, but with all that said, I'm going to show you how I make them real quick. 
Uh, I'm going to make one of bleach. We're going to do, well, we'll do one, a three liter-ish one for the, uh, for the, uh, the camelback. So first thing you got to do, like I said, you need to have a jet torch. I'm using a propane torch here because I just can't seem to find. I bought one of those little jet lighters, butane lighters that you get at any, most any convenience store for about a dollar, maybe two. I can't seem to find any in my convenience stores. So uh, first thing we're going to do here, get zoomed in on it. focus up. It doesn't look like it's wanting to focus real well. Uh, we're going to take a pair of pliers. Uh, okay, that's about as tight as we're going to get it. Take a pair of pliers and hold the tip down. Uh, leave an eighth to sixteenth of an inch of plastic on the end. Uh, just enough that you can uh, get it to melt. Now with this, honestly, those lighters work a lot better. Uh, now what I do is I'll take my finger and I'll roll it after I melt it to ensure I get a good clean seal on the, the bottom of it. Uh, actually melt it through that one. You have to be, and that's why I like them little lighters better. And I'm trying to watch the camera so I get this on camera and I wasn't watching. The lighters, you don't get near as much heat. With the torch, you got to be real careful you don't burn your, uh, your, uh, your straw. It's not such a big deal with that little jet lighter as it is with these torches. But once you get a good clean seal, we're going to take and we're going to take our bleach and we're going to do these three liters, which is 12 drops. So hold it in there. One, two, three. Well, and one to grow on. Uh, you might find what size you want these, as long as you leave a little bit of an airspace and you can see the amount of liquid in there and how much of an airspace I'm going to have. It's fine. I mean, you put all the air in there you want. Uh, go ahead and pinch it back off. Come back up here and burn it. Give it time to seal up. There is my finished tube. It's you know that easy. Uh, then I'll take a sharpie, and in this one I'm going to write three liters or three quart. Uh, that way I know when I pick it up what I'm looking at. Uh, I did the quick math. You know, I bought a gallon of bleach. Oh, and the bleach you're going to buy, you absolutely want pure bleach. You want no perfumes, no fabric softeners, no, no nothing. If you can't find on there that it's 100% pure bleach or whatever, move on to a brand you can. Uh, typically, the dollar store cheapest bleach is going to be the best bleach because they're not putting any perfumes in it. They're making it as cheap as they can. It, it's pure bleach. Uh, and the concentrations are perfect. So uh, I paid two dollars for a gallon of bleach. Uh, now I'm sure in some of the, you know, like Communist California and stuff like that where prices are outrageous it might be higher. But here in Oklahoma I paid two dollars for a good gallon of bleach. And I did the math. Uh, I looked it up online and I did the math I should say. There are 90,840 drops of bleach in a, uh, in a gallon. So, if you're using the exact number of drops and you don't waste any and all that, blah, 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 that's going to give you 22,710 quarts of water purification or 5,677 gallons of water with one, with one $2 gallon of bleach. And straws, you can jack at any convenience store. You know, when you go in to get a drink, grab two straws instead of one. Uh, grab a handful of straws, right up until the point where they tell you, stop taking my straws. Uh, 
or you can go to Walmart and buy a box of straws. But you know, this is something that's kind of like everybody says. Well, if you're going to get in your bug out bag, you need to go buy uh, you know, Kentucky Fried Chicken and get a spork or whatever. It's the same principle. I mean, nobody's going to mess a straw or two. Um, I do get some bigger straws for uh, different things. But that is absolutely one way to make bleach or to make water purification tablets. I mean, I understand they're not tablets, but close enough. The other thing, I uh, want to point out, and another awesome resource that I haven't actually broken it down and done the math yet. Uh, I have on small scales. Uh, I have used this for uh, the purified drinking water and the five gallon deals, and that's what I had break, broke this up to. But this is water pull shock. Uh, what they consider swimmable is also drinkable. So one pound of this pull shock treats 12,000 gallons of water to uh, drinking levels. Now what I actually use this for is in my and everybody's got a bug out bag, I got a bug out trailer. Uh, in there I have a bunch of 35 gallon uh, water or plastic water containers. Uh, which is what I consider my backup or reserve supply or whatever and I can I can fill it up and all that. You know, I carry I we keep about a thousand gallons of water on the on the vehicle, uh, on the trailer. One of these days I'll do a video on my trailer. Uh, <clears throat> but uh I break these up into 35 gallon increments and uh, I don't have it, the math in front of me. Uh, and that's the other thing, even though I get comfortable in doing this, four, four drops to a quart and all that, I always, doesn't matter when I do this, if I sit down to redo some, I always check my math and make sure I have, you know, I'm right. So, uh, but, uh, you know, I, I probably haven't broke a shock bottle up in a while. Now, uh, I decided that I wanted to go ahead and you know, this was on sale. These were a dollar at the uh, at Walmart because it was uh, beginning of season, end of season, whatever reason. These were on clearance. They might be last year's version, but yeah, they're a dollar. So I can treat 12,000 gallons of water for a dollar. Uh, you could actually sit down once you did the math if you really wanted to and do the same thing. You could put these granules. And figure out the exact weight or the exact number of granules, or I don't know how I would do this. Uh, I, I'll figure it out. But uh, get the math right and all that, and you can put, you know, powders in straws as well. Uh, so there's just so many, so many uh, things that you can do with a straw and sealing it up. I thought it was a real good, you know, handy thing to show. Uh, appreciate you watching my videos. Uh, check out my website; it'll be down in the notes. Any questions or comments? If you come up with another way to transport, you know, fluids or you know, solids to purify your drinking water out in the woods or in a bug out situation or SHTF or ABCDE or whatever situation you're uh, you're planning for, uh, I sure like to know what they are. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, have a good day.